Hi, I'm Pauline from the Rio Grande Jewelry Tech team, and today we're going to be talking about wire cutters, also known as cutters or side cutters. So let's get started. When you're looking for a cutter, there are a few things you need to consider when picking what will work to best suit your needs. For example, you want to look at the maximum gauge you can cut with, ergonomics, and the materials that you're using. Cutters can be flush, super flush, and ultra flush. Those will determine the beveled end cut of the wire that will have left behind from the cutter. When you're doing fine detail work like jump rings, ear wires, and wire wrapping, you want to consider ultra flush cutters for minimal cleanup on your pieces. Bevel cutters can cut thicker gauge material like sizing stock, 10 gauge non-ferrous wire, and beetalon. These are for heavy duty cutting and will require cleanup to knock down the pronounced bevel. Micro bevel cutters are also a great option for cutting when you are doing fine detail work. The angled cutting jaws make it easier to access small spaces and leave a minimal bevel behind. Like end cutters, angled super flush cutters can be used in tight spaces to cut, but without the need for cleanup. Cutters can only cut up to a specific gauge of material, so you don't want to use a cutter rated for 18 gauge metal to cut a sprue off a tree. The ultra flush cutters are more suited to finer wires and metals and fit into tighter spaces. Most of the ultra flush cutters will only cut up to 16 gauge, so if you're needing to cut thicker wire, you will need to follow up flush cutting with a file. To maintain your cutters, the best practice is to make sure you cut the wire toward the center of the jaws and not towards the tips. It's not recommended to cut with the tips to reduce the chance of breakage. Beading and memory wire require special cutters, so make sure you are getting dedicated cutters for steel wires. Cutters are a great staple to add to your bench when you need to quickly cut wires, if you are cutting cast pieces off of a tree, and so many more options without needing to reach for a saw frame. I hope this video has helped, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.